Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Craig Flint. Definitely a fall-like feel today, and I figured, why not talk about some foliage? Yeah, the fall foliage report back. First one. Now, there's not much change here locally, except for, you know, those trees like along the side of the roads and stuff like that. You might see a little color, but look up at the high peaks of the Adirondacks. Uh, we're starting to get some spotty color up that way, uh, and I think if you're maybe thinking about heading up to the Adirondacks, uh, you'll probably notice a little bit of poppage of color there. Not much here uh, yet locally. That is a look downtown right now with the sky with um, a, a good deal of uh, fair weather cumulus clouds. Those will clear out as we go through the overnight. Look at the temperature, 60 degrees, wind out of the west northwest humming at 14. The dew points in the mid 40s, uh, the barometric pressure over 30 inches of mercury. So that is a good number. Here's what to expect. Friday looks great. Now it will turn breezy at times as we go into Saturday as some of those high clouds tend to fill in a little bit. Uh, the outer fringes of Lee. Nice start to Sunday, but clouds are going to gather. And once we get into the evening and at night, there's an opportunity uh, for uh, a shower. So here's what to expect tonight. Becoming clear, calm and chilly. 40s by morning. Some areas will be down into the upper 30s tomorrow. Beautiful day, all day sunshine, breezy, comfortable, high temperature right around uh, 74. Speaking of sunshine, yeah, darkness on the edge of town, uh, and it is falling earlier and earlier. So the sunset today, 712. In a month, it's 20 after 6, and then uh, we get into November. It is before 430 uh, by December the 14th. Boo hiss, right? Numbers. Uh, now are hanging in the low 60s here this evening. Uh, even some upper 50s already in Edmiston and Springfield. Up into the Adirondacks here. Low mid 50s already up in the heart of the Adirondacks. Nice clear sky. Want to bring you up to date with the latest on Lee. It is a Category 1 hurricane, kind of a shell of what it once was. Keep in mind, he was a Category 5 at one point. 85 mile per hour wind. And now he has made the turn to the north and he's accelerating to the north at 15 miles an hour. So here's our weather, high pressure, carving out some great weather here. There goes Lee up into the eastern tip of Maine and Nova Scotia as we go into the weekend. There will be some high clouds kind of spilling in uh, into central New York here as we head into the weekend as Lee continues to weaken, becomes a tropical storm and then eventually moves up into Atlantic Canada. High pressure for us will keep us in real good shape, though, as we head into the weekend. So beautiful day tomorrow, 74. Some high clouds turning breezy Saturday, but a nice day. Kind of a fuzzy sun, 70. Clouds increase Sunday, 72. Probably dry, though. Once we get into Monday, that's really the only chance of rain. Breezy, cooler, 68. And then look at next week. Sunshine is back and warming up to near 80 by the time we get to Thursday. I think I might have jinxed it. I said I was finally ready to accept fall and the temperatures go right back up. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, they'll keep on climbing into uh, the weekend as well. We'll All see. All right, well, fall will come back at some point, oh, right? Oh yeah, don't worry. Okay, Craig, thank you. Mm -hmm. When we come back, no one was hurt in this house explosion last weekend in Oneida thanks to a prompt evacuation. But something unusual was found in that process. What they found next.